This afternoon, I invoke the Defense Production Act to compel General Motors to accept, perform, and prioritize federal contracts for ventilators. Ventilators are a big deal, and we've delivered thousands of them. And oftentimes, you don't need ventilators very much. Hospitals don't have very many. And uh, now we're turning out that we have to produce large numbers. But we've been able to do that, and we're going to be doing a lot more. What about ventilators? New York City Mayor de Blasio said today would be the day his city could run out. Governor Edwards said his city or state could run out on Thursday. Is there a plan to expedite the manufacture of ventilators? Real quick, I just wanted to remind you all about the Drone Tech Politics Discord server. Come check it out. We talk politics, share news stories, and play games. There's also going to be some exclusive live streaming events from the Discord server here in the near future. And speaking of live streaming events, on Thursday, April 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be attending a pro-constitutional rights rally at the Ohio State House. It should be quite interesting. Now, back to Jake Tapper's ridiculous display. How many times have we heard from CNN personalities that they're not not politicizing this outbreak. Brian Stelter himself has said that to suggest that is just a right-wing conspiracy theory, while he brazenly and obviously politicizes the outbreak. But this isn't about Stelter, it's about Jake Tapper. And a ludicrous segment on his show with the lower thirds title, Mr. President, what's the plan? A really weird question to ask, considering he's been giving two hour long briefings every day for the last two months. Briefings, by the way, that CNN and the other DNC media desperately want to stop covering. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. If I can take a moment, I would like to speak directly to one person known to watch this show or at least clips of the show, President Trump. Is there a plan for widespread testing of every American so as to isolate the virus the way other countries have done? Did you all notice how he's clearly reading the teleprompter here? I mean, that may always be the case, but in this instance, the camera zoomed way in and you can tell he's reading something. Anyway, what a stupid question to ask. Maybe not so much stupid as it is calculated, implying that the president and his task force haven't addressed these questions already multiple times. First off, his question about the plan for widespread testing of every American. Dr. Fauci addressed this very question, saying that it would be impractical to test everyone in the country. Not taking a test for for the summer reason. I have no symptoms. To I know. fully do it as we But see not everybody in the United States should take a test. Not even South Korea, the touted model for response to this outbreak, has tested everyone in the country. What other countries is he talking about exactly? Where's the fact check? No other country has tested the entire population. Second, his question about who will administer the tests. Is this a real question? Who does he think is going to administer the test? It'll be doctors and professionals. It's just a dumb question for dramatic effect. In other words, it's propaganda. Is there a plan to make sure doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals finally are able to get the personal protective equipment or PPE that they need? What about ventilators? New York City Mayor de Blasio said today would be the day his city could run out. Governor Edwards said his city or state could run out on Thursday. Is there a plan to expedite the manufacture of ventilators? Are any companies being compelled by the U.S. government to make ventilators. This afternoon, I invoke the Defense Production Act to compel General Motors to accept, perform, and prioritize federal contracts for ventilators. 
Oh my god, where has this man been for the last two weeks? Just a few days ago, President Trump announced that companies like MyPillow, Honeywell, Jockey International, Procter & Gamble, and United Technologies were going to be ramping up production of PPE. And by the way, he also announced that companies like General Motors, GE, and Ford are going to be pumping out ventilators. Maybe Tapper knows nothing about this because the majority of media coverage has been focused on attacking the MyPillow CEO guy who, by the way, is going to produce 50,000 pieces of PPE for healthcare workers. But all of this is news that would help improve Trump's approval numbers with Americans. So the media has to try and counter it by just pretending like it never happened. And what about de Blasio in New York City? While we're at it, what about your favorite guy in the whole wide world, Andrew Cuomo? Why doesn't New York have the ventilators that they need? Well, in 2015, the New York State Task Force on Life and the Law and the New York State Department of Health set forth guidelines warning that New York would see shortages of ventilators in the event of a pandemic. Yet, New York still somehow doesn't have the ventilators they need. Where's the finger pointing? Nope, instead, CNN is running cover for their favorite Democrat politicians. This is not about winning a news cycle on Fox, please. It's a moment that requires leadership. It requires honest information. <laughs> Okay, so you see how serious this is. He's using the opportunity to take shots at his dominant business competitor. He's literally just doing what he's accusing Trump of doing. You're obviously trying to spin an alternate reality fiction to satisfy your shrinking viewership's thirst for hate and fear. I'd suggest that your little performance here is only going to serve to increase the public's distrust of the media. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button. It really helps every video. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my mission, please consider supporting me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.